Today I'm taking a panel and stepping it up a notch by adding baseballs to the corners. The baseball block is quick and easy and it uses a 5 inch square. Uh, we're going to use a white 5 inch square and four black corners and these are two inches and we're going to place them on the corners there and some red decorative thread. So let me show you how to do that. So let's start by adding our corners to the white five inch square and we're going to go from corner to corner. I'm using my clearly perfect angles and I'm just going to follow my center line and um, stitch down the middle of the black square. As I get to the corner, I'm going to stop and reposition the next one. And we'll do that to all four corners. If you don't have a clearly perfect angle, you, all you have to do is draw a line from corner to corner and stitch right on top of that line. But this is pretty quick and easy if you've got the right tools. Oh, I think Slate is trying to help me. Okay, we've got one last one. One last corner here. And we'll take it up to the cutting table and cut a quarter inch from the center seam so that I have basically a snowball, created a snowball. Once that's done, for the sake of the video, how about I just give it a cut here and I'm eyeballing a quarter of an inch, but it's easy. You could just take your ruler and um, mark the quarter inch and cut it with your rotary cutter. All right. Give it a quick press. And now we'll be uh, ready to add our decorative stitch. Now before I add the decorative stitch, I want to find some type of a stabilizer for the back side um, so that my stitches won't um, uh, get crumbled or um, so that they lay nice and flat. So I'm going to grab some stabilizer and I'll be right back. So what I'm using here is just a stitch and tear and I'm going to lay my block on top of it and let's get, let's re-thread our machine so that we have the red thread. So I've re-threaded my machine with red thread and I'm going to change my stitch to um, 112. And as I do that, the other, the last thing I want to do is know where I'm going to uh, do my stitching. So using a round, uh, either a, a round ruler or if you have a small plate, um, just mark your, your place where you're going to add your stitching, which mine will be right here. And I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've got my, my stitch 112 on the Spernina, and if you're um, using a quarter inch foot, make sure you change it to your applique foot or a foot that you're going to be able to zigzag or else you'll break your needle. 
and um, we're going to start. Um, I've drawn my lines and I'm going to place the needle down so that my line is going to go down the center of my applique foot. And as I do that, I'm creating this really pretty stitch. So every time the needle goes down in the center, I'm going to try and hit that line to keep it nice and centered. And consider playing with your stitch length. If you want it a little bit tighter, and as I get near to the end here, I'm going to stop. And <laughs> isn't that pretty cool? Now we'll do the other side and you'll have your, your baseball ready. I hope you've enjoyed this.